Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. Now, you know, I did a video maybe a week and some change ago telling you that we needed to move on from Bud versus Errol Spence. And you just seeing all the signs in the world that that fight is not going to happen. You just seeing all the signs that is not going to happen from just various media outlets, various people. Um, now Fox is damn near confirmed that the fight is all but dead. Because basically they said Errol Spence doesn't need Bud Crawford. The funny part about it is you ain't going to see no videos hardly get made talking about what Bill Wagner said because at the end of the day, you got what you would call Errol Spence extremist. I'm not an Errol uh, Spence extremist. I'm not a Bud Crawford extremist. And I'm not finna say somebody is ducking or whatever the case may be. Obviously, somebody don't want the damn fight. I've said for months that the fight was more than likely not going to happen. Via anybody. I'm not going to blame nobody's camp, but I had a sneaky suspicion that the fight wasn't going to happen because I just saw all the signs in the world that that fight was off the table and that it just couldn't be made. You know, then you had all the finger pointing between, you know, both sides, the, the Bud extremists and the Errol Spence extremists. And I tried to stay, you know, neutral. But for the most part, I was attacked by a lot of the Errol Spence extremists. You know, I got accused of not being on code and all that, that bullshit. You know, I, I I mean, for real, I was just like, you know, you just had a bunch of Errol uh, Spence extremists coming on my, my channel talking a bunch of shit. But it appears that this fight is not going to happen. Now... You had a lot of people here um, just trying to put this on Bud and trying to say, you know, Bud is ducking. You know, whenever Bud said something, when he said uh, he didn't need Errol Spence to go to the Hall of Fame, you had a lot of the Errol Spence extremists coming on here. See, see, I told you, I told you. But since this news thing came out, I ain't seen no, no videos get made talking about this situation. You know, at the end of the day, man, um, it just seemed like it's just certain fights we just ain't going to see. And that's unfortunate because you got politics, you got the promoters, you got the networks that don't want to do business. They don't want to share none of the revenue. So it look, it appears that Fox is like, hey, we don't need no outside companies. We don't need no outside promotion. Basically, if you ain't signed to PBC, then we don't give a rat's ass. So... That's a shame, man. It's terrible, man. That, that, that's just absolutely terrible that we can't get the fights that we want to see because of politics and bullshit. It's a damn shame, man. And I, I can't stand it. Because at the end of the day, the fans are the ones that's losing out, man. The fans are the ones that's getting robbed. But some people don't care. Because some people don't believe in their guy. Whoever it, whoever it may be. But I give Fox credit. I give them all the credit in, in the world. They believe in their product. They believe in what they putting out. They believe in the PBC. That's factual. You can't deny them that. They believe in boxing. But will the fans suffer to a certain point? Absolutely. Because there are just fights that we can't get made. And I and I don't like it. I just think that Bud versus Terrence, I mean, excuse me, Bud versus Errol Spitz, I just think that, that fight is just, I just think it's a done deal that it's not gonna happen. And it's, and it's sad. But this is the politics of boxing. You know, 
if you ain't with this promotional company, if you don't fight for this network, then shit ain't gonna happen. Real sad, man. Real sad. But anyway, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.